We've got some incredible uh, technologies that we're going to be revealing and products that we're going to be revealing today. Inside of a data center, you've got these big gray racks. You've got networking racks. You've got compute racks. And the really important thing here is you've got a big computer. How is it working together? How does it communicate? How is it talking? You want it to act like a single machine. This is what we do with racks today in data centers. You get them as close as possible. It's the orange, orange here. Maybe two racks next to each other tied together very tightly with copper. Copper can reach about this far. That's about it. So copper connects about 100 XPUs max, about 100. This is happening at a time when single chip performance is really maxed out. So today, we're introducing the Passage L200. Hello, 3D CPO. <laughs> so what are the specs? So you know, I would pose this question to all of you. Why go slow when you can go fast? And it's available Q2 2026. But there's one other thing that I'm, I'm quite excited about. Uh, and it's maybe just a little step further. So today, I'm excited to share with you uh, the Passage M1000. It's a pretty big chip. <laughs> Let's look at what's inside, how it works, and talk a bit more about the technology. So the other piece of this that's obviously quite exciting, and it's a common feature across light matter technologies, is that there's no shoreline limit. So what are the specifications? I've been talking a lot about it. Well, here they are. 114 terabit per second of optical I.O. Pretty sure that's a record. And it's available this summer. Uh, so. <laughs> So here's passage M1000. <laughs> <laughs> 